right, that was the Silver Spear. And I was playing um, a double grace note in the first bar between the two A's. And on one occasion I actually went a little bit further into the slight variation where I played a double grace note and then instead of playing one A afterwards I played two A's short long. So the double grace note sounds like this. The tune is like this. And with the double grace note it's like this. Like that rather. And with the um, slight variation, with the two A's, it sounds like this. When I did those two A's, I did them index middle. Now there's another way of doing that, and that's to do a short roll. And the short roll is actually slightly different from the double grace note. Uh, you can there's several ways you can use them. Um, you can several different notes you can cut. You can cut two A's with a D and a G with one finger so that would be or you can cut it with a B G or you can cut it this is the way that Mark Anderson uh, does it um, with a, a D and a G sharp this means that you've got to use your middle finger for the high D. So there's very little to choose between those short rolls. That's the D G one, which I just use one finger. This is the B G. And this is the D G sharp. I'll just try and show one of them, maybe play 1A music. Um, I normally prefer, I find the double grace notes easier, but um, the short roll is grand too. And there's one other thing that I do as well, I sometimes just play a chord. Like that. So, um, the first time through I used the short roll, and the second time through I played um, an F sharp and an A, two notes together, it's really part of a D chord, but I just played a two notes of the chord. Then uh, the third time I played a short roll, uh, I used the B and the G. Now I hope this is useful to you. Um, I have two tutors, the Concise English Concertina Tutor, which is available at www.dickmiles.com, and a Song Accompaniment Tutor, available at www.dickmiles.com. Um, so, I uh, hope this has been of use to you. Just a few little ideas on different things that you can do for ornamentation for the English Concertina. So I used double grace note and I used a, a variety of short rolls and in the second part I used an octave triplet on the F sharp and I played the G and the E later in octaves. Octaves. There's one other little thing you can do at the end there instead of always playing the phrase 
right at the end, you can turn the D and the F sharp into a triplet. Instead of... And I change, I change the B into a BC sharp B triplet. Thanks.